Well, again, South Africa has recorded 2,750 coronavirus cases since the last reporting period. 59 COVID-19 related deaths have also been reported, bringing the total to 55,183 deaths. With the latest figures released, our recovery rate has dropped slightly to 94.5%. Active cases have increased to over 32,000. The number of vaccinations completed under the Sisonka protocol stands at over 478,000. Let's welcome now Dr. Ridwan Suleiman is a senior researcher at the CSIR for the weekly overview of the COVID-19 situation in the country. Doc, a very good evening to you. Thanks indeed for your time. So we'll start by looking at the average daily COVID-19 cases per week in South Africa. There seems to be a significant spike. Talk to us a bit about that. Good evening, Criselda. Indeed, we continue to see a sustained increase in the number of confirmed cases reported across the country. Um, over the past week, we're reporting uh, just over 2,300 new cases per day on average, um, and that figure is an increase of 36% week on week. Um, so certainly an increase nationally, um, but we're also seeing an increase across all of the provinces um, uh, over the last week or two. And I mean, the daily COVID-19 uh, case uh, incidents uh, per province, we know that Gauteng uh, already experiencing a third wave of infections, uh, accounting for 26.9% of the cases. Movement might also become a significant problem, given that you have many people moving from Gauteng to different areas. Indeed, um, Gauteng is, is a concern at the moment, um, and in Gauteng, the number of new cases have increased by 60% over the past week uh, compared to the previous week. Um, the case incidence in Gauteng um, is now up to 16% of its previous peak and rising quite sharply. That 60% increase um, also can be represented as, as cases doubling every 10 days. Now, the concern is in Gauteng, as you mentioned, is movement because of it being the economic hub, yeah. a lot of movement into and out of the provinces. So what we're seeing in Kauteng could easily spread to other provinces. Also, it's the most densely populated province, so infection rates can rise very rapidly, as we're seeing. Uh, but as you can see from the graph here, all of the provinces are showing an increase over the last week. Uh, the Northern Cape and the Free State have been a concern for, for four to six weeks now. Uh, Northern Cape now, the case loading... Uh, uh, at its highest point it's ever seen at any point of the pandemic, 8% higher than its previous peak and an increase of 34% compared to a week ago. Uh, Free State continues on a sustained increase, um, up 15% compared to a week ago, and the case loading up to 70% of its previous peak. I think the uh, the other thing to point out is, is the Northwest increasing again, up 34% compared to a week ago, um, and the case incidence is now up to 33% of its previous peak, uh, thereby passing a threshold indicating that the Northwest has now also moved into a third wave. All of the other provinces have reported increases in case incidents of between 15 to 25% last week. From our indications, uh, uh, Doc, what we're seeing now, how many of the provinces have, have now or, or, or are experiencing a third wave of infections? So formally, according to the thresholds um, as um, uh, used by the health department, uh, three provinces are formally in a third wave. Uh, Northern Cape and Free State entered a third wave at least four to five weeks ago, and the Northwest, having just passed this threshold of 30%, is formally in a third wave. Um, all of the other provinces haven't passed the threshold uh, or the guideline to indicate that they're formally in a third wave. However, I think whether or not we, we're in a third wave nationally or in the individual provinces. It's probably just more down to semantics right now because all of them are showing sustained increases. Um, some, of course, um, are showing sharper increases than others, but the risk has increased across all of the provinces. Um, and other indicators certainly confirm this increase and the increase in risk. If we look at the average uh, daily coronavirus uh, tests per week in South Africa, um, are we seem, does it seem like perhaps we're slacking somewhere? Uh, has it gone down quite significantly? No, in fact, testing has increased this yeah. past week. 
Uh, we're now conducting just over 32,000 tests per day across the country, and that's an increase of 26% week on week. Yeah. Uh, I think we need to bear in mind that testing uh, in, in South Africa, our testing strategy is based on people presenting for symptoms. Um, so the, 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 the increases and the decreases that we're seeing correspond with the uh, same increase and decrease in infection rates. So the increase we're seeing this last week is more a reflection of an increased demand for testing. The average uh, daily positivity rate uh, per week in the country uh, as well, uh, we're seeing that uh, somewhat going up as well. Talk us through the different uh, phases and what we've been seeing taking place over the past couple of weeks. Yeah, so this is an important indicator yeah. uh, to quantify the increase in cases that we, that we spoke about now. Uh, the test positivity rate uh, being a proportion of positive tests or confirmed cases to total tests conducted um, is now up to 72%, uh, 7.2% nationally, um, and that's an increase of 8% compared to a week ago. Now, the increase is uh, uh, substantial because it certainly indicates that the increase in infection rate is real and not just an artifact of the increased testing. Um, at 7.2%, it means we're finding a a uh, positive test or case for every 14 tests conducted. Um, and as this uh, percentage increases, it will start to indicate that there may be more undetected cases and we're certainly not testing enough. Uh, certainly that seemed to have been uh, the indication that was created by uh, the, uh, the Medical Research uh, Council, if I'm not mistaken, but earlier on this week. So new COVID-19 hospital admissions uh, per week in South Africa. We're expecting that uh, to go up as uh, you have some of these provinces already hit by a third wave of infections. Indeed, hospitalizations generally follow the trend that we start seeing in cases and test positivity. So across the country, the number of new admissions last week was just over 2,300, um, and that's showing an increase of 10% week on week. Um, this trend is likely to continue as we're seeing an increase in the number of new um, infections being reported. Um, if we break that, that hospital admissions per province, uh, the free state continues to show a sustained increase in hospitalizations, up 12% compared to a week ago. It's been increasing for four weeks now. Um, and in Gauteng, we're seeing um, an increase, an increase, uh, it's been increasing now for two, two weeks at least, um, up 12% compared to a week ago. Um, Northwest is also up 10% compared to a week ago. Um, and other provinces starting to show signs of an increase in hospitalizations include the Western Cape and Mpumalanga. The average daily COVID-19 deaths uh, per week, South Africa, Gauteng and the Free State uh, looking at uh, the last reporting period have seen quite high numbers there. Uh, talk to us a bit about the trajectory there, the Free State and uh, Gauteng, the number of deaths in, in both provinces, I think was it yesterday or the day before, you had the Free State with about 40 deaths over a 24-hour period. So um, two days ago, yes, as you indicated, both the Free State and the Northwest um, reported over 40 deaths uh, within the 24-hour period in, in those provinces. However, we need to bear in mind um, that those provinces um, did data verification and those deaths were not necessarily within the 24-hour period. In fact, there were uh, a backlog of deaths that had occurred uh, likely over a few several months prior. Um, so, so that sort of um, does create a bit of an anomaly in the reported deaths um, this week. Um, it contributes to a significant increase. Nationally, the number of new deaths um, have increased to 66 deaths per day across the country. Um, and that's a really significant increase of 40, 47% week on week. Uh, however, bear in mind that that backlog of deaths from Northwest and Northern uh, and Free State contributed to that increase. Um, but over and above that, the trends in the Free State and the North uh, and Northern Cape um, have shown uh, uh, have been on on, sig on sustained increases, uh, reporting more and more deaths in those provinces, um, and then the provinces of Gauteng and Western Cape are starting to show signs of an increase of deaths in those provinces. Dr. Suleiman, I wish we had more time. Thank you very much uh, for joining us on the program.